This is Twit. I am not smart enough to know what the hell they're talking about with Web3. Not, by the way, not Web 3.0. No space. Very important that you do this right. I bet you Alex Wilhelm can explain what the hell Web 3 is. I, I'm going to show you this headline. <laughs> Actually, this tweet from Elon Musk. Web 3 sounds like BS, tweets Elon Musk. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. So, Leo, thank you for putting me in the hot seat on this one, because that way I'll get all the tweets and uh, and not you. <laughs> Better you than me, buddy. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Web3 is a rebrand of blockchain, oh. which was a rebrand of crypto. Oh. I think it's the simplest way to put it. Oh. It's broadening each time, because cryptocurrencies were originally just, you know, Bitcoin and Litecoin back in the early days. And then we talked more about blockchain, thinking about uh, the, the broader crypto economy in, you know, in, in a larger sense. What else can we build with blockchain technology? Web3 encompasses NFTs and um, kind of like the games you can play on the Ethereum chain and so forth. And so I, I think it's, it's a broader term, but it is mostly the same stuff. Uh, but I will say there was a shift overnight. Sometime a few months ago, Web3 became the thing to say. And I don't know quite what changed, but all of a sudden... It became how what people used to describe the, the larger world of, of you know Bitcoin at all. So if you want to sound cool, say Web three, and by cool I mean not cool. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a rebranding of the original vision of the internet, which is no borders, right. no controls. Everybody just does everything uh, that they want, and there's no governments can that interfere. worked out so well. Yeah, and then that didn't happen. It was you know argue you know the the, the internet was largely taken over by giant corporations. And so this is an attempt to get back to that original vision. Nobody's, nobody characterizes it like that, but it's clearly that's what it is. Taking the, a, the basket of hot new technologies like blockchain, NFTs, and lumping in meta, if you will, uh, the, uh, lumping in the, the metaverse, et cetera. Don't forget and the metaverse. You get, you get this new world, which is the original vision of the internet. Yeah, but, think it, but Mike, it, it, it claims to be so punk rock, right? What you just said is so dead on. It claims to be this, this open, freewheeling place. And yet it seems that the same people who made a bunch of money on internets one and two are making all the money in Web3. So to me, like, are they just failing to live up to that kind of punk ethos you're describing? Or, is, or am I misreading where things are today technologically? I just, I just think that's uh, there's a, a techno technology type people are into that sort of thing. Is that... Is that Somebody at your door. <laughs> that's 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 my Alex. Uh, that's <laughs> sorry about that. She really wants in. <laughs> Are you in her playroom? Are you? <laughs> uh, I'm sort of. Yes. <laughs> You've taken over your 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 granddaughter's playroom, and now she wants in. She's pounding on the door, much as many people want to get into Web three point. It's not three point oh, by the way. W e b three. Let's yes. get that right. Okay, yes. I've, I've heard people in the right. media call it Web 3.0 because it was Web 2.0. But no, 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 that would just be a successor to Web 2.0. This is nothing like Web 2.0. This is Web 3. Except for the fact, Leo, that it's literally all the same stuff from Web 2.0 <laughs> on the blockchain. It's games, it's social, it's, it's you know, like different interest groups am getting I, around different cultural memes. Am I uh, old, out of touch, or dumb to th every time I hear the word blockchain think watch out watch your wallet this sounds a little bit like a pyramid scheme to me uh, leo if, have you heard of axie infinity no chance no what's that okay well there's a lot of these these pay to earn games or sorry play to earn so like you kind of play them and then you earn tokens that are then have some sort of monetary value and that always strikes me as slightly skeevy and then also there's a lot of ways to like essentially loan your is this crypto like crypto assets. cats it's uh, kind kind of. It's, like, it's, it's closer, it's, Alex. Isn't it closer to like essentially um, uh, Pokemon, kind of like? But, don't you? But you, you, you can like make breed money. Yeah. characters and you fight them or something, but then you earn money. Yeah, by doing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, but where does all the money come from? Because usually, in my experience as a longtime gamer, I pay money. <laughs> right. And then I play. Versus I play and then I get paid. That sounds like work, and yet it's a game. And so to Leo's point about just having a general sense of unease. That's how I feel, because as far as I'm concerned, there is no never ending font of capital. There is no way to make money for free forever. So from whence does it come? Is but no, but there is question. because, uh, you know, I mean, people always get mad at the Federal Reserve for creating more money. But 
there's nothing to stop us from creating more cryptocurrency. Leo, you might feel more skeevy about uh, Axie Infinity specifically when you find out that the majority of the players are in the Philippines and that what happens is rich Westerners hire oh, uh, to grind to grind to, for them. Right. Yeah. And now they're, they're making more than they would at a in meat space job. Uh, but uh, apparently like 90% of the active players are in the Philippines right now, even though a lot of that money is flowing to uh, bigger wallets elsewhere. So I'm just setting up my <laughs> Axie account and I have to get a Ronin wallet and I have yes. to deposit Ethereum or Ether into my Ronin wallet. So I am paying to play, yes? And don't forget that's going to cost you several hundred dollars in gas fees. Gas just fees. To transfer to your wallet. I never heard the <laughs> phrase gas fees until Constitution DAO. Uh, this <laughs> it's pronounced DAO, Leo. I've been and saying also, DAO, and then I thought, oh, I should probably say DAO since it is an acronym. Also, no one says Ether. Everyone says ETH. ETH. I know. Yes, it's ETH, Web3, no space, and DAO. Ba so you're saying I'm basically <laughs> marking myself uh, as a future sucker. and that Yes, you are marking yourself as a mark. I'm, an, I'm a mark. I'm wearing the sucker hat. When we were in uh, Mexico many years ago on the beach in Puerto Escondido in beautiful Oaxaca, uh, vendors came down uh, selling uh, hats, one of which was made from palm leaves. It was a very cute hat. And um, my ex at the time, uh, my wife bought it, Jennifer bought it. And I said, Jennifer, you just bought the sucker hat. Now everybody coming down the beach is going to make a beeline to you because you just gave somebody $10 for some palm fronds. So you're saying to me that I'm wearing the sucker hat when I say Constitution DAO or Ether. I'm, yes, but I'm, the good news is, Leo, you don't have a lot of your personal net worth in crypto assets. I have none. So I think you're probably... Wait a minute. I do have that wallet with 7.85 Bitcoin, but thank God I can't get into it. Alex, <laughs> Alex, wait till he finds out that good morning is a very, very loaded acronym. Good oh morning? Gosh. GM, GM, baby. GM. Yep. I say GM, you say GM back because apparently the crypto meme world and culture is rooted in middle school terror. <laughs> Wait, what I mean, the one, um, wait a minute, what does it mean? Good morning. Good morning. But if you're There's in the crypto, no, you say GM back. It's it's this like weird shibboleth. Oh, it's a handshake. Leads. It's a secret handshake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And we're all, we're all going to make it or we're not going to make it. There's there's a tunnel. Wag me. Now, but, yes. Right, right, right. Let, let me, to give them their credit, one <laughs> of the things that you have to say about the Web3 crowd is that now they're all very eager and excited but generally, they're very optimistic and friendly. So, you know, their secret handshake is literally good morning. Good morning. And we're all going to make it. Good morning. It's what Tim Cook says at the beginning of our Apple event. Good morning. Uh, G but if you want to say you're in the know, you say GM. 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 Which I presume yeah. comes from texting, right? R-O-T-F-L-W-U-T, right? It's... Uh, maybe I, I, I don't know. I, actually, I don't, I don't think that's right. Um, but I, I do think Brian's point is great though, because no one is having more fun than the crypto kids. They're having like, fun. I, yeah. I, I mean, they're having an absolute blast. Like, do I want not to this spend, week? Yeah. Not this week, not, not this week. weekend because yeah. of the sell off, but like, I'm never going to spend $10,000 on an NFT because I don't want to purchase the digital signature to a particular image on one blockchain. It doesn't really drive my buttons, but they're having an absolute blast. They're minting Somebody in the chat room, making rooms. Stoic and, yeah. Squirrel says, you have to be optimistic that you think you're going to make money on this stuff, right? You have to be <laughs> bullish. There's no bears in the in the crypto world. Well, I, I've, well. Can you short sell? That. Can you short sell crypto? Probably, but I've written mean things about Bitcoin off and on for since 2013. And has that worked I've out for you? Poorly. People have been cross <laughs> for a very long time with me. Um, but all my money is in index funds, so But it's this fine. is the problem, by the way, with any pyramid scheme or any any other scam, is the most threatening people are the people who don't believe it. You want to, you know, you got to beat them down because it's all based on this optimism. We're going to get rich mm -hmm. uh, philosophy, and anybody who doesn't is, yeah. you know, is peeing in your chowder. Alex, yeah. uh, you would know this better than me because you cover uh, the VC space closer than I do. But my theory is that, and this is going to be something that Leo won't know about also, but 
Um, I think you said this show is full how, of that, by the way. Go ahead. How, <laughs> why, why two months ago did Web3 suddenly become the thing? And my theory is that, that it's literally Chris Dixon. It's literally Andreessen Horowitz. It's literally VCs yeah. um, decided en masse to brand it this way. And my motivating theory for that is they made so much money from Solana that all of a sudden, especially Andreessen, but a lot of the VCs are like, we need more Solanas. <laughs> so let me explain a couple of things about what Brian just said, because I think it's pretty good. So okay. first of all, <clears throat> Chris Dixon and Mark Andreessen have both blocked me on Twitter. I just, I don't know why that matters, but I wanted to bring it up. I just want to say, context. I am so way ahead of you. In 1993, <laughs> on MSNBC, I told the world when uh, Microsoft announced Internet Explorer 3.0, it's all over for Mozilla. It's all over for Netscape. They're charging for a browser Microsoft's giving away. And Mark Andreessen apparently at that point f began a long-standing <laughs> hatred of me because I told the truth, by the way. I was absolutely right. Uh, yeah. I was told later he came screaming down the halls at Netscape saying, Who is this Leo Laporte? <laughs> Who is this? That's all. <laughs> well, so, Leo, I've always welcome. liked the club. Join the club, yeah. Alex. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always liked you, Leo, and, and Mark's never liked us, and that's fine. Um, but <laughs> what I'll say is the Solana example that Brian brings up is actually a great point because Solana is a is a blockchain. It has some similarities to the Ethereum blockchain. It is better in some technological ways. It is cheaper to execute transactions. So they're often faster. And so as a piece of technology, frankly, it's kind of cool. It shows the evolution of blockchains from Bitcoin to Ether Ethereum to, I would say, Solana and some other ones today, like maybe Polkadot. I don't know. There's, there's a couple of options out there. But I think if you look at the initial token distribution of Solana, and I'm pulling back to my memory here, so if I get this a little bit wrong, don't jump on me. Um, I think a lot of the early backers got a bunch of early tokens and that I've appreciated very, very well. And so the people that invested in it, I think was Andreessen Horowitz uh, or maybe their crypto fund made out like bandits. And so my, that was my point earlier about the same people that already have money making the bulk of the money in, in the crypto space. And that's why I'm not that interested in it. It's not bringing economic prosperity to poor people, right? So you could actually argue it might even be doing the opposite. It's uh, I mean, it's not good for the environment. Um, it's, it's not good for cybersecurity. It's, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin is is the made, is one of the things that makes ransomware, ransomware. Uh, yeah. work the way it does. Um, my, uh, well, first I have a comment about Alex's watch. I've never seen anybody wear the watch on their hand. Let me see, Alex. What are you doing? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I've never seen sorry. that. Um, so ba basically, everyone, <laughs> if you're not watching the video, I'm wearing my Apple watch around do my Do you have palm. a boo-boo on your hand that you're covering up? I, I do not have a I do not have a boo boo, nor do I have an, a, a cut. Um, I'm just kind of a, a twitchy boy, and oh, so I, I play with my watch yeah. when I'm sitting around. Yeah, and if I, fair enough. It, yeah, I it's not. He's he's a wrist sorry. model, and he has to protect to his protect wrists. Protect the wrist at all yeah. costs. Yes, I just like to call out any sort of innovation I see, no matter what it is. They, <laughs> but but in terms of uh, cryptocurrency, the thing that bothers me is when I whenever I say something that's vaguely. Uh, negative about about any of this stuff. I get uh, the the argument is that oh no, this is a great currency. It's for purchasing things, and it's really not used that way, is it? I mean, it's no, you'd be nuts to hoping that value will go up. The people who buy things with it, it regret it deeply, like the guy who bought the what is it, the hundred thousand dollar pizza. Exactly. Oh, but the thing that, and I'm probably wrong about this, and I'm probably I probably will be proved wrong over time because I I don't. I don't look at it that carefully, but it seems to me that this is a place where you can invest money and then make money without really contributing to society. Yeah, it's pure without speculation. Without employing anyone, yeah. without making anything. Yeah. It's so it, it, The whole thing kind of bothers me, but I'm probably just ignorant about it. I don't think so. I think that's exactly what it is. And I think a lot of the enthusiasm is for coming from people who speculated successfully. And it was with yeah. any pyramid scheme, you've got to pull in new people because, you know, that's what keeps it going. That's, that's where the growth it, comes from. That's what keeps it floating. To, to bring it back real quick to the original question of what Web3 is, and Alex, help me out here because I feel like maybe we're the closest. At, the difference, so so Mike is talking about, oh, currencies and things like that. The way I understand it is Web3 is, move, is moving crypto beyond just the idea, Satoshi's original idea of something that can replace money to essentially being the promise that's always been there for, for utopian folks of a global computer where it's not just money that is digitized, it's 
contracts, it's gaming, it's all of these things. It's moving towards the metaverse where yeah. your NFT is going to be your 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 image that you present to the world when you're in the metaverse and things like that. And so it it I th I think Web three the the people that are proponents of Web three think that this is the next evolution beyond just oh what's this new coin? It's what's this new thing that allows computing to happen natively on the internet. 